हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई एम एस गेट अकेडमी माय सेल्फ विपिन मिशन आई हैव एन एक्साइटिंग न्यूज फॉर यू दैट डीआरडीओ द डिफेंस रिसर्च डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज गिवन इज इट्स रिक्रूटमेंट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट साइंटिस्ट पोस्ट व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी क्लोज्ड ऑन 1st ऑफ अप्रैल एंड इट इज लाइव नाउ राइट सो व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस पोस्ट इफ यू हैव बीटेक डिग्री एमटेक डिग्री प्लस सम एक्सपीरियंस एज़ वेल सो दे हैव रिलीज्ड प्रोजेक्ट साइंटिस्ट एफ नोटिफिकेशन इन व्हिच the pay per month will be around 2 lakh 20000 and there is one vacancy for computer science students for that you need to have at least btech degree plus 10 years of experience if you have mtech then you should have minimum 3 years of experience as well right then they have released the notification for project scientist d as well in which the pay per month will be around 1 lakh 25000 total vacancies are 10 right here also you should have btech degree and minimum 5 year experience or if you have master degree then also it is sufficient right you should have matlab and simulink knowledge as well then they have released notification for project scientist c as well in which the pay per month will be around 1 lakh 8000 seven vacancies are there btech and minimum 3 years of experience is required and under the desirable experience you should have proficiency in matlab and simulink right then there is one more post like uh, project scientist b in which the consolidated pay will be around 91000 two post are there for ec student right and you should have a valid gate score alongside with the btech as well right you should have a valid gate score as well so these are the number of post number of uh, number of post and uh, project scientist post what i can say and number of vacancies and experience required or not required you can see here in this particular notification right now allied branches can also apply if suppose under the ec category you have done your btech in electrical and electronics electrical engineering electronics and instrumentation electronics and electrical engineering right industrial electronics engineering electronics engineering electronics and telecommunication engineering then also you are equally eligible for these post un under the ec discipline right similarly for computer science and engineering if you have done your btech in computer networking information technology computer science and engineering technology and there are other more allied specialization as well so you are equally applicable under computer science and engineering category last date is 1st of april right this is the closing date of this application you can visit their website rac.government.in and you can fill the form right this form is live now what are the eligibility for recruitment of this post so first of all you should have your btech first class btech right this is the minimum requirement okay then you should have experience as well if weightage will be given for higher education as well if suppose you have post graduate qualification engineering two years of weightage will be given to you if doctoral degree phd degree you are having then four years of weightage will be given to you correct and your period of study should not overlap with work experience suppose you have earned a degree while working okay that will not be counted work experience and degree should be counted separately and these are the age limit so for project scientist f age should not be exceeding more than 55 year for project scientist d age should not be exceeding more than 45 year for project scientist c it is 40 years for project project scientist b it is 35 years there are a some age relaxation given to a uh, special categories as well correct so you can visit their site and you can fill the form correct selection process or screening or short listing will be first of all done by administrative uh, their administration that will be called at administrative screening so they will see your relevant experience degree in percentage then there will be a technical screening okay and depending upon the number of candidates and post there may be several rounds of technical screening that may happen okay in which you may be asked to give an interview as well correct so selection process final selection process the final selection of candidate will be purely on the basis of merit of marks that you have obtained while administrative and technical screening correct and final personal uh, personal interview will also be there right minimum qualification marks required by the candidate in personal interview for consideration for selection is 70% of unreserved for unreserved vacancies and 60% for all reserved vacancies so interview is going to be very important after you are getting shortlisted right so guys quickly go to their website and start filling the form as well
Now, whenever any notification is coming, IMS Git Academy is always there. We are notifying you. So, you can join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. So, that any uh, notification is coming, you will be informed immediately. Correct? And if you are a GET aspirant, then you can join our live online program in which we are offering you 800 plus hours of live interactions of classes, exceptional material in terms of theory book, exercise book and GATE question bank, personalized mentorship session so that you can strategize your preparation, a tremendous online test series having 130 plus online tests. So you can book a counseling session by calling on these number and you know, you can join our zero fee program as well in which we are giving you 50 plus hours of conceptual video free test as well. So enjoy the flavor of free learning and then decide, correct? And we are going to organize a national scholarship test on 23rd of March in which you can, you are having a chance to get up to 40% scholarship in all GATE courses of IMS GATE Academy. So register on the national scholarship test. The link is given in the description box, right? And these are the top rankers that we have produced in the recent past. You can be the next one as well. And here you can see, I'm covering DRDO notification here. Just see our student is working in DRDO as well. Correct. So thank you for watching this video. We'll keep on coming and informing you in if further notifications are coming. Thank you for watching.